Welcome collectors, Kyle the Collector here, and today we're going to talk about light guns, starting with the Zapper. The Zapper. So the Quick Shot company was well known for making joysticks and other controllers, but did you know that they also made a scope for the Zapper? So works pretty well. The gray matches very well with the color of the Zapper. Has some crosshairs on it to get precise aiming. Get me some criminals here. So overall, it's pretty good. You can change and adjust the sight for distance from the TV. Now, in addition to the gray zapper, there was an orange zapper, and that was for safety reasons, so you wouldn't get mistaken for having a real gun. But in Japan, they made their zapper look just like a real gun. So who cares about safety, I guess. But do you know you have to use the CRT TV, so those box TVs, and Hypergain has created a zapper that does work with modern TVs, but unfortunately has gotten some pretty bad reviews for its effectiveness. My dad taught me about these. It is Wild Gunman. How do you play this thing? I'll show you, kid. I'm a crack shot at this. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Hmm. I was a big fan of Duck Hunt as a kid and I would often play it with my dad. And if you're a big fan of Duck Hunt, you can play it on the Wii U Virtual Console. Alright, here we have the SNES Super Scope. So this contraption, this gun, is like a bazooka. Alright, so I really like the look of it. Uh, but it's kind of cumbersome. It goes over the shoulder. Um, it does work pretty well. I've played it. The main reason I like to have this is because of the game Yoshi's Safari. Now the SNES Super Scope was only $60 when it came out and it included a cartridge f f with six mini games with it. You're looking at the next breakthrough for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Introducing Super Scope 6. Remote powered and laser accurate. Precise to a single television pixel. It comes with six great games and it's yours for under $60. All of which gets you into the game. Like never before. Super Scope 6, only for Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, super power. Yoshi Safari was by far the best game in my opinion for the Super Scope and it actually was the first game in the US that called the Princess Peach. So you start out, you can calibrate the sights. There is a two player mode where the second player controls Yoshi but the first player is always going to control Mario and the Super Scope. In the original you can put in a code at the title screen, X, Y, R, L, start. This will trigger it to engage the hard mode. This will have a color palette swap as well, changing everything to kind of a purple orange uh, sunset look to it. As you can see, there is less time as well, three minutes as opposed to four minutes for this first level. I love this game because it has those mode seven graphics, that 3D look. Has a lot of classic Mario enemies like Magic Koopa, Boo, Hammer Brother, and at the end of every level you fight a Koopa League. So it's a lot like Super Mario World or Super Mario 3. In Japan, they try to tie in the Super Mario Brothers movie with the Super Scope. Unfortunately, neither one of those was very successful. Super Scope. 
Here you can see the super scope in the movie. So Mario and Luigi use this as a de-evolution gun. Give me that Devo gun! So with the prop, you can see they just changed the color. There also was a toy version of this created by the company Ertl. And it had sound and lights as well. Pretty crazy. So when you think about it, here we have a toy gun that is based on a prop gun that is based on a light gun. Mind blown. And of course the Super Scope has made appearances in the Super Smash Brothers. Genesis, Genesis does, does what Nintendo don't. don't. Here we have the Sega Menacer. So this crazy contraption has two scopes, uh, a butt for the gun, uh, a sight. But in reality, the main component of this gun is just this pistol part in the front. With a Sega Menacer in my hands, I'm not afraid of scuzzy criminals. Carry bugs. Enemy tanks. Slimy aliens. Nothing. Bobby! Give your Aunt Bertha a big kiss. Well, almost nothing. The Sega Menacer, with six different games and four ways to play. Genesis system sold separately, batteries not included. So, like the Super Scope, the Sega Menacer came with a cartridge that had six mini games included. The most popular one would have been a tomato shooting Toe Jam and Earl game. This Sega Menacer will not work on an at games console, so you'll definitely need to be using this with a classic 90s Genesis console. The most popular game for it would be T2, the arcade game. This is a pretty good recreation of a lot of the shooting scenes from the Terminator 2 movie, which is one of my favorite movies. A lot of the Sega Menacer games are going to be based on arcade games, especially Sega CD Menacer games. That was because these games could use full motion videos like you would see in the arcade cabinets, like with the Mad Dog McCree video games. Now, if you had all three systems, you could play Sega CD 32X Menacer games. So these would be full motion video games that had a higher definition, so like Supreme Warrior or Corpse Killer, where you shoot a bunch of zombies. Wow, look at those high def full motion video graphics. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at light guns from the 90s. I'll be back. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Yo, I'm Rambo. No, I'm Rambo. <gasps> <gasps> ah!